So in our previous video tutorial, we learned how to find out the cube roots of negative numbers. And in this video tutorial, let's solve some problems uh, related to that topic. So we have this number minus 9,261 and we have to find out the cube root of this number. Now this minus 9,261 can be written as minus 1 multiplied by 9,261. Now take the prime factorization of 9,261, 9,261 and first check whether this number is divisible by 3 or not. And we know that if the sum of the digits if you take the sum of the digits and that is divisible by 3, then the whole number is divisible by 3. So 9 plus 2 is 11 plus 6 is 17 plus 1 is 18. Yes, 18 is divisible by 3. Therefore, this number will be divisible by 3. So 339, 30, 3824, 3721. Now again, 3 plus 8 is 11 plus 7 is 18 divisible by 3. So 313, 30, 326, 39. And then here again, 339. And 3, 4, 12, and 3, 3, 9. Now, this number is not divisible by 3 because 3 plus 4 is 7 plus 3 is 10. Therefore, you go by 7, you get 49. And from here, you get 7 and then 7 and 1. Now, this minus 9261 can be written as now. It means that. 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 and multiplied by 7 multiplied by 7 and multiplied by 7. Okay. Now, tell me, can this is this 3 is 3 times and this 7 is 3 times. Now, tell me, can we write this minus 1 as minus 1 cubed? Because we know that minus 1 cubed means what? Minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 so minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 is 1 that is positive 1 and 1 multiplied by minus 1 is what minus 1 so it can be written like this and now if you are wondering why we are writing it like this then I'll explain it to you so here you have 3 cubed and here you have 7 cubed now tell me, have we learned that if let's say you have a, any, any number, any integer a and it's raised to the power of m and there is an, another integer b raised to the power of m, same power and there is another integer c that is again raised to the power of m. So this can be written as a multiplied by b multiplied by c raised to the power of m. Right? It's true for two numbers and it's true for three numbers and it's true for four, five and so on and so forth. Right? We have learned this. Okay. So, from this, can we write it like this number as minus 1 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 7 this whole raised to the power of 3 and if you multiply this you get minus 21 raised to the power 3. Now this minus 21 raised to the power 3 means what? Minus 21 multiplied by minus 21 multiplied by minus 21. It means that this minus 9261 can be written like this. Okay, so if you find the cube root of this number it means that if you find the cube root of this number, you get here you have this three times. It means what you'll get minus 21. This will be the cube root of minus 9261. We have another number here 3375. Same thing minus 1 multiplied by. 3375 okay now let's take out the find out the prime factorization of 3375 first check whether this number is divisible by 3 or not so 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 7 is 13 plus 5 is 18 yes this number is divisible by 3 so 313 313 326 35 and then 
5 plus 2 is 7 plus 1 is 8 plus 1 9 again it's divisible so 3 3 9 3 4 12 sorry 3 3 9 3 7 21 and 3 5 15 here you have 3 1 3 3 2 6 3 5 now this is what cube this is cube of 5 so 5 25 and then 5 5 and then 5 1 so here you have minus 1 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 now this can be written as minus 1 whole cubed as we have discussed earlier and this as 3 cubed and this as 5 cubed now this can be written as minus 1 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 whole raised to the power of 3. Now this is what minus 15 cubed. It means that minus 3375 can be written as minus 15 multiplied by minus 15 multiplied by minus 15. Now if you take the cube root of this number you get minus 15. Here you have another number that is minus 2744 again minus 1 multiplied by 2744. Let's find out the prime factorization of 2744. So if you find out the prime factorization of this number, clearly it is divisible by 2 because 4 is at the unit's place. So 212, 236, 27, 14, and 224. Then you have 2612, 2816, 2612. 236, 248, 3236, and you have 7. This is 749. 7, and here you have 1. So, minus 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 7 this can be written as minus 1 whole cubed multiplied by 2 whole cubed multiplied by 7 cubed so it means minus 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 7 and this whole raised to the power of 3 so from here you get minus 14 cubed that is your number minus 2744 can be written like this it means minus 2744 is equal to minus 14 multiplied by minus 14 multiplied by minus 14 you take its cube root you get minus 40 this is the answer